now we're going to get into some UI stuff. So you've seen some code examples. You have all this uh, from the thumb drive. But when you go coding, it's also important sort of to give your application a little bit of a distinctive look, right? You don't want every application to look the same. And one of the great benefits of rich internet applications, and particularly Flex and Flash, is your ability to really customize them and give them a great design view. So I'm going to scroll down here and find my little keypad example. Okay, and what, what this features is you can see right up top, remember how we had to add the API and we had to create a ribbit namespace? This application features the next, uh, another example, which is components. This is included, once again, from that thumb drive. We've actually given you the code for a custom keypad component. That custom keypad component is here, and we've built it and we've skinned it. Skinning means that we've applied a custom design uh, to the otherwise basic uh, look and feel of Flex. And these elements right here take uh, common buttons that you usually see in Flex, and it's actually made, it jazzed them up a little bit. I'm waiting for this thing to come up. It's, there it is. So you can see here, instead of your typical buttons, you've actually got some nice uh, layout. You have icons inside the buttons. It's just a very, very simple way to make the application look that just that much better and more unique to your application. And you can certainly take this and apply your own icons, apply your own colors, and so on, or build your own UI components and share them with other folks. So the example I'm going to show is actually us taking that component code and embedding it into that very same uh, uh, code that Wes already reviewed with you. And essentially what we're doing, like I said, is we're bringing that ribbit namespace right in here, that, uh, I'm sorry, that components namespace. Down on the bottom in the actual flex code, we're going to include that component in this panel here. So you can see how we reference, instead of ribbit colon, we actually reference components colon, and we give that an ID of keypad. And instead of listening for events from the ribbit API, in this case, we're going to listen for events from the keypad component, which are right here. And of course, what kind of events would be broadcast from the keypad component? Well, uh, keypad clicks. Every time you click on a button, it's got to tell the application which button you're clicking on. So I'm going to run this application. And uh, you can see that keypad's there. It's, it's disabled because I haven't logged in yet. And once again, in place of regular buttons, which are sure, you know, it's fine to use those, but we wanted to spruce this up a little bit. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good building block for you. Instead of those basic buttons, now we have these nice fancy cool looking buttons. So as I dial numbers and so on and so forth, I can uh, have those there. So it's a good way to tie that into your application. And I think you should explore this example, which is uh, one of those 20 code solutions. Um, I hope that helps you. It sort of propels you into building some more custom and unique applications.